for the ones that were here last week, our pastor did a message on how big and how awesome God is. He talked about the stars. He talked about the planets and how God created them. Now, right now, I'm going to talk about what they do. Not just for what they are, but what they do. How many know the scripture, let everything that has breath praise the Lord? Amen. Psalms 148, starting in verse 1, says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. And going down to verse 3, it says, Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars of light. All you stars of light. Has anyone ever read that and just wondered, well, what exactly does that mean? Stars of light. Well, I think it means that even the stars sing praise. And we have proof. <laughs> I'm going to give you a couple examples of some stars and what they do. This first one is called the Vela Pulsar. Say it with me, Vela Pulsar. It's a highly magnetized neutron star. And what that means is, because some of you are like, oh, okay. What that means is this star exploded and collapsed on itself and became a supernova and its own magnetic entity. And so what it does is because if you look at this picture here, you see how it, it looks like a circle. So what it does, it oscillates 11 times a second. So it's spinning 11 times the full rotation of seconds. And if you look at that picture, it literally has light shooting out of it. That's actually a radio frequency. And we, we've determined all this because we have something called a SETI, which is a highly advanced electromagnetic telescope. And we have other things too. And so what these telescopes are doing are circling around the Earth, sending out frequencies, and they're hearing stuff back. Now, they were originally designed to try to find other life out there. But what they found was completely different completely different. And this is where that, that scripture comes into play. Now, our tax dollars, that's why I say we, because you paid for it, and I paid for it, paid for this amazing technology to hear if anyone was speaking to us. We haven't heard any life forms, but we've heard that the Vela Pulsar is sending out this radio frequency as it oscillates 11 times a second, 24-7, day and night from a thousand light years away, this is what the Vela Pulsar sounds like. That's that light shooting out. It's pretty amazing, right? So what does that actually mean? What is it when this stuff is shooting out? What does it mean? Well, I think that star got wind of Psalms 148 verse 3. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. So when it heard that, it said, hey, I want to be a part of praising God, so I am going to oscillate 11 times a second to give him back some praise out there. It's exactly what Psalms 148 says. But... I got more for you if you're in disbelief. There's another star called 47 Tuck. It's a cluster of stars. It looks like diamonds. Look at that. Just like, it's just brilliant and beautiful. But if we zoom in, there's these clusters, right? They're actually blue stars, a cluster of blue stars. And they send out 23 millisecond pulsars. And we... Our tax dollars, we recorded 16 of them. Do you guys want to hear what those sound like? Let's play this and see. Now, 
us a little bit in tune. I think they were tuning up a little bit. So do you know what scientists actually call this? They call this the symphony of stars. So God has his own string section. His own string section. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? So we have the Vela Pulsar has this rhythmic kind of like a groove to it. And then we have the 47 Tuck that's got this string sound to it. Mm. But if we go down to verse 7 in Psalms 148, it says this. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all the depths. Now, I know we live in Indiana and we ain't around no ocean, but have you guys ever been around sea life? Anyone swim with dolphins or been around whales? So I have, and it's pretty amazing. And the cool thing is, is if you look, if you do, go do your research, if you look, whales actually migrate to the same place every year. Every year. Do you know why? They actually have a song. They literally call it whale songs. You guys want to hear some whales? Are you sure? Do you want to hear some? Isn't that beautiful? They're singing. They're bringing that scripture to life, you great cre sea creatures in all the depths. Praise the Lord. Man, that's so powerful. So we have the stars and we have the sea creatures. Now, I encourage you, go back and read Psalm 148 because it goes through a lot more that the earth actually does. But for today, we're going to do these. But you know what's cool about 148 starting in verse 11? This is where we come into play. It says, kings of the earth and all people, not just some, all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. So we get to join with God's creation. We're all in this together. So when you hear a bird sing, be like, are you singing for Jesus? <laughs> so we're going to try something here. Do you guys know what a mashup is? So a mashup is where we bring a bunch of audio clips together to form a, 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 a music piece, right? So I didn't talk about this star, but this star is PSRBO329-4. Yeah, it's pretty long. So it's kind of got this little rhythm, right? Three, four, almost like a click. Johnny G, you know what that is. So let's bring in the Vela Pulsar. You guys heard this one. It's a little chaotic. So for what we're going to do, we're actually going to slow this down. So let's slow it down. OK? So it's slowed down. So now we have the PSRB 0329-4 and the Vela Pulsar slowed down in sync with each other. We've kind of put them in sync. And we have a rhythm. All right, do you guys want to hear the symphony? Let's add the symphony in. Here we go. So this is Psalms 148 coming to life. We have the stars right now, giving us our rhythm, right? And our, kind of our key of our song, right? But I think we need to hear the whales sing with the stars. Do you guys want to hear the whales sing with the stars? OK, let me get this going here. So we have some whales. They're singing. So now we have Psalm 148, and then we have Psalm 147, okay? So we're going to do something else. I think we need to add some bass to it to give it kind of a, a structure. John G, you want some bass? 
Here we go. So we have some bass, there, there some groove, some rhythm, right? But I'm hearing a song here. I wonder what they're singing. So we're gonna throw a melody on top of this. Is that okay? Let's do it. I'm gonna throw a melody on top of it. So now we have Psalms 148.11 coming into play. Do you guys want to sing with stars and sing with whales? Well, let's sing along with them. How great is our God. Sing. Come on, church. Is our We just worship. We can sing it again. How great! How great! Is our God? Sing with me. How great! Is our God? All will see. All will see. How great! Yeah. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. We thank you. Now we're gonna sing. Name above all names. Let's sing it together.